Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, I had felt it was time for a callback, and this is definitely a time and a game I wanted to do a callback for. So here we are, in the middle of the forest, trying to fight our way through a whole bunch of murderous trees. On your guard. To eventually get through to, uh, fuck, what was it? Oh yeah, it was to help, uh, the Dalish elves here deal with, well, all the shenanigans going on. The forest is against them, the werewolves are attacking them constantly, and it's it's not a good scene. It's not a good scene. So we're right now we're trying to help them as best we can. Something is coming. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Well, I'm stuck. There we go. I mean, when you actually do the things I ask of you. Well, a more of these. Ow. Oh. I didn't intend to do that. Whoops. There we go. Helps if I'm pointing in the right way. I didn't mean to use a health potion, but it ended up helping me. Because I had taken quite a bit of damage. So it's all, it's all good in the end. Alrighty. So, we're going to continue picking things up. That is the Grand Oak. That does look like a tree person, but is not killing me. Distinctive landmark, but otherwise unremarkable at this time. This is a big-ass tree. Let me give it that. Okay, this little, rather big, oak person here, as I'm assuming someone I should talk to. Hmm. What? manner of beast be thee that comes before this elder tree. Can't you see me? I am a werewolf. I could try to persuade him that I'm something I'm not. How is it you can talk? How do I speak? The same as you. I form the words and sound them true. Oh. Now I have answered the query of thine, but thou has yet to answer mine. Can't you see me? I am human. Ah, yes. I remember thy kind, so brief of life and all but blind to the peril you cause, the lives you take. Such chaos is sown within thy wake. Allow me a moment but... to welcome thee. I am called the Grand Oak, sometimes the Elder Tree. It rhymes? Yeah, tis, tis a, a rhyming, rhyming tree. tree. One yeah. can only imagine what manner of spirit is involved here. So and the unless humor. thou thinkst it far too soon, might I ask of thee a boon? Why do you speak in rhymes? I do not know. Why dost thou not? Thy words seem plain, a mundane lot. Perhaps a poet's soul's in me. Does that make me a poet tree? <laughs> oh, God damn it. I hate that pun. I hate that I was subjected to that pun. <sighs> yes, I get it. It was but a simple jest, a jibe to entertain my guest. Well, I only semi-appreciate it. What's this boon you mentioned? 
I have but one desire, to solve a matter very dire. Okay. As I slept one early morn, a thief did come and steal an acorn. What's so special about that? All I have is my being, my seed. Without it, I am alone indeed. I cannot go and seek it out. Yet I shall die if left without. Oh. Okay. So the seed is essentially your very being. And you can't be without it for too long, but you can't do it yourself. Okay. I could look for your acorn. What's in it for me? Hmm. My wooden skin has some magic, see? And part of it I can give to thee. What good will your wood do me? The forest would see thee as a tree, and so no harm would come to thee. I would prefer if you helped me find Witherfang. Witherfang. In the center of the forest, the wares do dwell, or so go the tales my fellows tell. But they cannot be followed there. The forest doth protect the wares. Oh. And thus why your wood would be very beneficial to me to do the thing. Okay. All right. I think I see what... I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I think I'm getting the cut of your jib. Okay, I think I'm getting it. Uh, why do the trees protect them? Perhaps wares use magic to command the trees. All I know is they move as they please. Hmm. Why is it called the Brazilian Forest exactly? That is but a human name. One placed upon this land their claim. A claim they stole from ancient elves, whom they first killed, and were killed themselves. Hmm. There were elves who lived here. It was the elves who planted the seeds, raised the forest, saw to its needs. Mm -hmm. But that was all so long ago. That they are dead is all I know. Fair enough. That I can understand. What happened here to make the forest like this? A great war, perhaps. I cannot tell. I was not here when it befell. But many deaths here, all the same. And with the deaths, the spirits came. The spirits entered corpse and tree, and most went mad, as thou canst see. The forest had a spirit of its own, from back when its first seeds were sown. Perhaps she died of grief that day, or perhaps she simply went away. Or perhaps the wares are the ones to blame, for the day she left, is the day they came. Hmm. So all the fighting brought spirits. Rather, maybe the spirits of the dead were what infected the trees, drove them insane, and... Otherwise, the mother spirit of the forest left. Whether because of that or because of the werewolves, it's hard to say. I don't think I understand. I speak as clearly as I see. Plainer than this, I cannot be. Fair enough. Is there anything around here of note? 
Most of what was is overgrown, leaving only broken stone. Perhaps some ruins remain free of rot. I know not where I see them not. I don't think I have any more questions. Shall we speak of other things? Or wait for what the morning brings? Uh... What are you exactly? I am an elder oak and nothing more. Though once I dreamt of a time before when I roamed the world and howled with pain. Not of this world, but twixt and twain. Perhaps I was a spirit then, a wandering thing drawn to this glen. But then that spirit joined with a tree. Since then, a tree is all I be. So, maybe my initial theory wasn't entirely correct. Maybe the death brought spirits from the Fade to come here. And then the insanity started. As they realized they were joining with living beings that were already magical in nature or something. I, I'm, I'm doing just pure conjecture at this point. I don't know nothing. Uh, it just seems that the other trees are far more hostile. Of the Sylvans, this is true. They are quite mad. Their virtues few. A spirit trapped within a tree. No mouth to scream or eyes to see. Ooh, a me. cage of bark. A prison wood. A thing of rage where nature stood. So twisted Sylvan they become. But I am not the same as some. I accept my fated oaken home. I feel no need to rage and roam. Okay. So, the trees are going insane because the spirits that occupy them did not want it. At all. And they have no other outlet, so they run around and kill people to express their rage. But you don't have that problem because you like it in your tree. Okay. Alright. Whatever you say. I can only speak to what a tree may see. It may not help you, but it is enough for me said I wanted to see what they know and last thing is available is Witherfang's lair shall we speak of, of other things or wait for what the morning brings uh, I want to talk about your boon I have but one acorn my child my seed mm -hmm. it has been stolen a vile deed I cannot leave for I am bound, mm -hmm. and thus I beg the thief be found. I can do that. I can look for your acorn. Hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about the My skin again. My wooden skin has some magic, see? And part of it I can give to thee. And what good would The you forest would doing? see thee as a tree, and so no harm would come to thee. Yeah, that sounds like a fine reward to me. Wilt thou then perform the task? Wilt thou save me as I ask? Absolutely, I will help. Go to the east to find this man. I shall await. Do what thou can. Sounds good to me. I will do it. And we will... This campsite appears remarkably intact. The tents and bedrolls are covered in leaves, but are dry and whole. The fire pit smokes and possesses embers enough to build into a small flame. There are no signs of any inhabitants. How odd. A camp with no campers, complete with fire and warm blankets. Rather inviting, would you not say? 
more suspicious than inviting. You get no hint of danger, though it strikes you as odd that the camp is abandoned. Perhaps searching the camp will give more clues as to its nature. Fair enough. Let's look at the tent. You look inside the tent and are surprised by how dry and cozy it feels. It is clean, but empty. What a pleasant place to rest your head. Wow, that is a nice tent. Could we sleep here? This seems like the perfect spot. And I am just so tired. Can't leave yet. We need to stay alert. Takes all of your strength to step back from the tent. A wave of weariness washes through you, despite your efforts to resist it. Something's enchanted here. Bedroll. You examine the bedroll. It looks clean and warm. You feel like you haven't slept in ages. It would be so nice to curl up and sleep. I find it difficult to move. We should leave this place at once, before we are frozen in place forever. This is so strange. Let's look around some more. Unable to resist its strange siren call, you trudge back to the tents and quickly collapse and drift off into a blissful sleep. What? Oh! As you wish. Oh! Okay, well. Okay, well. Problems. Okay, so. Everyone is dead. Okay, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble is what I'm understanding. I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay. Well... Let's load the last save. <laughs> and of course it puts me right back here. Okay, and uh guess it's time to <laughs> guess it's time to write things down. Alright. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back here. And we are going through all of this. How odd. A camp with no campers. Yeah. Complete with... Very suspicious. Fire pit. Let's look at that. Examine the remains of the fire pit. It has been untended for several hours at most. The embers draw you in, almost hypnotizing you. Do not look in the fire. It draws my strength. Perhaps we should... Sit down... Rest. Can you feel the power here? What is this? The flames emit a sudden warmth, draining your strength even more. You turn away, the chill seeping back into your bones. You are exhausted. Considering how badly that fight went, I'm... Wow. Kind of loath to that is a nice do this again. Could we sleep? Yep, we're going back to sleep again. There we go. Okay, well, we're in trouble. Okay. All right. Okay, there is really not a lot of good going on here. At all. Ow. Ow, oh, come on. I'm hoping that 
This will eventually help me out. There we go. Ow. I'm doing pretty good so far. There we go. I can't believe it actually put me down. With the shade destroyed, the fog seems to lift. The camp that was here is ancient, and the remains of the shade's victims all lie as if sleeping still. A hungry spirit luring those who pass to their rest and their doom. One might wonder how it learned this trick. No matter, it shall prey on no one else. Thankfully. Oh boy. And uh, I, we all have injuries. We all have injuries except for, except for Morgan. That's damn it. Oh man. <laughs> Poultice, lesser health poultice, lesser injury kit. Injury kit does it. Okay. Uh, a single injury. I only have one of them. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright. Well. Guess I'll be. Ooh. Dalish Gloves, Dusk Ring, and Greater Health Poultice. That ain't too bad. Dusk Ring. Ow. It removes strength. That's the last thing I want. The signs of dwarven craftsmanship on this ring are clear. Carved from a single flawless piece of amethyst. That's impressive that you are able to carve that out of a gem. It is heavy and cool to the touch. When equipped in a set with the ring named Dawn, with a ring named Dawn, the character gains a bonus to armor. Interesting. The Dalish gloves. These gloves are made of supple leather and lined with soft rabbit fur. And a bunch of earth. A bunch of that. Whoops. Looking for little old me? Uh. What do you know of this place? People have always spoken of dark and mysterious woods haunted by beings unseen. The Brazilian forest is one such forest. Is it? They say the veil is thin here, and spirits from the fate pass over, drifting through the trees and giving them an unnatural and sinister intelligence. Gotcha. It is said that if you feel you are being watched in the Brazilian forest, you are. Definitely feel that. Let's move on. Dig through this pile of bones, leather helm, hardened. Get some muns. A clan shield made of elm, which is really worthless. Did I miss anything? Oh, the greater shade. A spirit shard. Interesting. But, yeah, unfortunately, we, we took a beating from that. We took a hell of a beating from that. Everyone but Morrigan kind of fell to it. So, it's unfortunate. But it is what it is. At least I had enough injury kits for me. No one else but me, but... There... Is that... Is that a path I can take? Is that a path maybe I can take? Nope. Ah, oh, fuck me. Alrighty, um... This was... Southeast Forest. It strikes me now that I haven't turned... Killing things, perhaps? Yeah, that I haven't turned any... Speak. ...of the abilities on that we need to have on. Um, flame Blast. No. I was looking for it was sustained. There we go. That's what I wanted. Uh, 
Okay. Go to sustain. That goes to everyone, I think. Yes, it does. Good. Um, that's flaming weapons. It's also good. That would have been good with the, uh... <laughs> that would have been good with the trees, now that I think about it. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, sustained. I forget. This is... Decreases rate of fire, but... Bonuses to attack, damage, armor, penetration, and critical chance. This one was... This one was this Bard Song. Rapid Shot. Suppressing Fire. Hmm. Do that. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to continue doing more things. Can't do that. What now? Ah. And then, boom. That leaves her with very little stamina left over. Ah. Uh, you know what? You know what? I kinda don't think we need suppressing fire all that badly. We should be fine. We should be fine with that. And then. Shale's stuff. What does she have in that department? Threaten. That'd be nice. Make her the big tank. That'd be nice. Um, okay. Stone Aura. Support mode that imbues nearby party members with bonuses to attack, defense, and health regeneration. Hmm. Pulverizing blows. Taking a penalty to defense in exchange for a bonus to damage. No. Stoneheart. Huh. Yes. There we go. That's a good idea. And I think... Precise Striking or Rock Mastery. What the hell is Rock Mastery? <laughs> Ranged Attack Talents. Okay, and then... Precise Striking... should be fine. Then me, what are my sustained stuff that I need to do? Dual striking. Attacks cause more damage, but the character cannot inflict regular critical hits or backstabs. That's fine. Threaten. Yeah. Got it. There we go. That should be fine. That should be fine. So, Southeast Forest, I guess, is the direction we should go. I guess. Not like we have a lot of other options. And it does look like a direction we haven't gone before. Hopefully we'll find that thief, that acorn, while we're down this way. Let's crush them all quickly, shall we? Go! Ooh. Ow. Ow. Okay. Well, I'm stuck in that, but I guess it's fine. Considering they're already dead. Really? We should probably swap to fire if we're going to keep running into that. There we go. Much better. We're going to keep running into enemies like that. We're probably better off swapping the fire. 
That's something I probably should have done a while ago. Interesting. Yeah, that's my expression here, Wait. pal. We are back at the beginning of the path. The forest, it seems, does not wish us to reach wherever the path leads. How protective. Hmm. So if we go that way, we just end up back where we started here. Okay. I see enemies ahead. Now is better than later. Well, I'm feeling like I did the correct thing here. There we go. I feel like I definitely did the correct thing in fire. But, I mean, if you attack faster. There we go. Okay. So Skellington Mythal's Blessing. Whitewood. Huh. The buckler with decent defense, missile deflection, and strength modifier. Hmm. Plus one melee critical chance, and then plus ten to healing effects received. Symbol of Mythal. Mythal? I don't know. God of Vengeance is eerily vivid on the face of the shield. The Great Protector. Hmm. Not a shield that I'd be using, but... It is an option. Bears! Oh. Okay, would help if I'm... There we go. Another stun. Go. And the bear's down. And now this one is too. Okay. Fair enough. Combat's done. Now we continue down the path. Getting some elf Here they fruit. Come. And... You forced our oh, joy! Ogre! Wahoo! That's not good to fail. Down they go. Soul rot coating. Lesser elixir of grounding. And a health poultice. Okay. Then we're doing pretty good so far. Isle of Bones with a lesser helm. Steel spiked collar. Malachite. Gravestone. The air seems unnaturally cold around this ancient tombstone. Runes of warding are carved into the surface. What if we disturb the woods? Why can't the dead stay in the ground better than all? No, that's lady. why. Right. Oh, right. that's a revenant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a problem. That was a dumb decision I made. That was a very dumb decision. <laughs> Shouldn't have done. <laughs> okay, we'll back up. Well, we learned I shouldn't have messed with that tombstone. <laughs> and we'll just go back through everything we did. Also, we'll turn on the 
uh, fire weapons before we start to go any further. It's probably a good idea. All right. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my there go. I just realized that kind of pulled back a little bit unnecessarily. There we go. Good. Do I have her automated systems tacking on a thing that she doesn't need? Um, maybe. Okay, I might be doing that. Yeah, I might be doing that. She's the highest level out of all of us as well. That's hilarious. Um, suppressing fire. Can I just get rid of this? Um. Hmm. Hmm. Just clear this out. And then move this up. There we go. And then have her take off that sustained thing that she didn't need to be having on. There we go. Far better. All right, now we move forward. <laughs> now that I fixed that little thing that I goofed up should not have put there and then we'll just do this so that way it's registered as a oh that won't let me do it wait yeah taking a quick drink of my thing all right forward we go then we fight Be wary. these all again no, better than later <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm dead. I am dead because no one was here. Okay. I am very, very dead. cast anymore because I'm very dead. And now she's dead. So be it. And there we go. Now she has two injuries. Well, now's about time to use those, uh, use these injury yeah. kits. God damn it. Hello. All right. And what does this concussion do? Penalty to willpower. Okay. All right. Well... It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Thal's blessing. Yeah, da, da, da. Go around this way. Just realized that we'll need to do all of that again when it comes to the whole sustained abilities thing. And then do that again. And that should be it. I should be good from here. And then she needs to do hers. Yes. And then threat. And then precisely back in the village square. And then precise striking. And 
Dual strike. Just in. There we go. That should do it. That should do all the things I needed to do. And now we go forward and we don't do the stupid thing again. Uh... Um... What <laughs> just happened? What just happened? <laughs> A hermit jumps <laughs> out of nowhere. And then <laughs> it's swinging at the air. All right. Let's, let's talk to him. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Not a werewolf and not a spirit even. What are the woods coming to? Wait, are you the thief who took the Grand Oak's acorn? Mayhap I did, and mayhap I didn't. Have you come to claim it back? Oh, what fun. But we are getting ahead of ourselves already. Ask a question, and you'll get a question, but give an answer, and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. You want me to answer a question? Wouldn't I have to ask you a question first? Isn't that a question? Would you know a question if it was asked? Are you mocking me? I don't know. Are you mocking me? Stop answering every question with a question. But those are the rules. A question for a question, an answer for an answer. Were you not listening? Be cautious. This is no ordinary madman. He has magic. I can sense it. Powerful magic. Okay. Not fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? Then would you like to ask me a question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? That's fair. Who are you? Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Did they tell you to ask? Who's they? <laughs> Did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? Um... I'm trickier than I look. <laughs> I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Never. I found you. So you did. But I'm watching you. If they sent you, I'll know. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Okay. Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? <laughs> Just tell him I'm Alfred. You may call me Thomas. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But you're too tricky, and you're trying to fool me. Well, I'm on to you, just so you know. Ooh, but it is your turn to okay. ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Do you have the Grand Oak's acorn? Ah, suddenly it all becomes clear. You hear that talking tree there? It all makes sense now. Oh, yeah? As a matter of fact, yes. I do have that tree's acorn. I stole it, and it was easy. Silly tree should have locked it up tighter. Um... If you want it, you'll have to trade me for it. And nothing from that silly tree. No leaves or branches or anything. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Okay. Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Okay. Hmm. Where were you born? I was born on my family estate in the north. Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long, but I will see through it yet. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Do you have anything to trade? Let's see. I'll trade you an acorn, a helmet I found, or a book I finished reading years ago, provided you have something interesting in return. I want to trade for the acorn. Oh, and what do you have to trade for the acorn? How about some gold coin? Coin? 
What possible use could I have with coin? Do you see a money changer about? How about this silver ring I found in the ruins? Hey, I once had a ring like that. This one's shiny still. Yes, I'll take it. Give me that. There. Now that's done. What else have you got on your agenda, hmm? Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane arts? Not particularly, no. Oh, well, that's disappointing. But wait, what if you were lying? Aha. You thought to scamper away without suspicion, did you? Well, I'm on to you. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. Give me a second, I'm about to cough pretty bad. so bad I had stars in my eyes for a second. Ugh, it was just a little tickle in the back of the throat, but then it just progressively got worse. So, all right. So you live in this stump? Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? I must stay away from them. They're out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yes, all of them, and leave you empty. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for an answer. There you go. Okay. Do you want to ask me another question? May I? Oh, yes, I think I might. What is your relationship with your father? My father is dead. Mm -mm. Interesting. Most interesting. So that means that you did indeed have a father. <laughs> ah, I knew I would trip you up sooner or later. But it is your turn to what ask now. Trip ask me up. Ask away, I dare you. Okay. How do I enter the center of the forest? It's where the wolfmen have their lair, but the trees will block the path. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. And how do you fool them? Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Are you talking about the rhyming oak? You know of it? Good. That makes this much easier. Yes, that's the one. I'm not going to kill some oak tree because you asked me to. It's up to you. Yes, indeedy. Your choice. Time to move on now. Do you want to ask me another question? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? I don't have anything to ask. Oh, no? Well, you just let me know if you change your mind. Run along and tell them whatever you wish. I intend to keep digging. Okay. You do that. I'm gonna take some of the stuff around here. Take that out fruit. It's good. Um, what now? You go through this chest. What now? Nice! Lesser injury kit. I think I desperately need it. Landmark tent, okay. Otherwise unremarkable. There's a tree stump. It appears someone has dug a hole beneath the stump, leading to a tiny and filthy cave of sorts. Obviously, the hermit sleeps in there. There also appears to be a small cubby hole within the body of the trunk itself. It is filled with mud, twigs, and other debris. Hold on, you. That's private property. That's an old man's home, that is. Keep out. Keep out. Okay. If I was the type to save scum, I would be looking into that right now. But uh, I'm currently not going to do that, so... Ow! What? Can I get you a ladder so you can get off the It'd be easier if you just did things I asked of you! Holy shit! 
I'm dead. I am now dead. Okay, well, none of this is going well at all. Okay, I have died yet again. I probably have another concussion now. Concussion and now head trauma, which is a penalty to death. Alright, well, just as I was enjoying the fact that I had an injury kit, or a lesser injury kit, I gained another injury. Whatever. Okay. And now we'll fix her injury with the injury, lesser injury kit, and we'll call it all good from here. Okay, a charred corpse. Lesser, lesser health poultice. If I could talk, that'd be nice. All right, all right. Wait. There we go. There it is. Allow Chest me. here. I could do that for you. Well, I would hope so, considering. <laughs> Dalfanu. What's next? Okay, interesting. Steel spiked collar, pile of bones, another pile of bones with malachite, death root, and a pile of bones over here, rather rubble. So elixir of grounding. Do they feel the spray? I'll get on it. Oh. Alrighty. I just noticed I don't have fire on my weapons anymore. Okay. Well, alrighty then. Um, grab that. Um, Keep doing the wrong buttons. Right. What time is it? Oh, I'm uh, nearing the end of this episode time. Let us go. If I have not hit it already. So there we go. Call this good. I will run over here to get this thing. And this is just essentially the other direction from which I went. So should be good. Should be good. Anyway. Uh, we got the acorn back. We're going to head back to the Grand Oak. Or rather, Great Oak, or whatever the hell his name was. I forget. So, uh, we'll do that. And, uh, yeah. Should be good from there. At least I think so. We'll find out. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to re-catch my bearings a little bit. Uh, we're just to <laughs> make sure that I remember what we were doing. Uh, we were doing the werewolves, going to go after them, um, deal with them the best way we can whichever way we can uh and the best way to do that is to get a piece of wood from the big talking rhyming tree uh which we who had an acorn stolen from him we got the acorn back we traded it for a ring in a ruin and here's hoping this is how we will continue to do business and hopefully it will not go too drastically bad also i now know never to touch tombstones that are clearly magically warded because problems occur nine times out of ten like what killed me for the third time this episode for you